हाई एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू कैसे हो आप लोग आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर दी अपकमिंग आर बी आई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जामिनेशन आई एम गुलाब सा योर मेन्टोर एंड आई वेलकम यू वंस अगेन टू अनादर सेशन ऑफ आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन वे बाई टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सर्टन डायरेक्शन दैट हैज बिन इशूड बाई आर बी आई ऑन एसेट रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन कंपनी अब ये जो टॉपिक है एसेट रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन कंपनी की दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्यों इस पे क्वेश्चन आते हैं एंड वी हैव सीन इन द पास्ट एज वेल क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आज फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट डाउनलोडेड आर एप यू कैन डू सो बाई गोइंग ऑन टू द गूगल प्ले स्टोर सो एनी काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम रिलेटेड अपडेट्स लाइव वीडियो सेशंस Topper strategies as well as past year papers with their analyses and strategies are available on this app. So make utmost use of this app to leverage your performance. Or shuru kar do apni tayari. Why? Abhi time bahut kam bacha hai. So let's get started with today's topic. That is the review of regulatory framework for asset reconstruction company. Now, what is this framework? So RBI. and we all know that arc that is the asset reconstruction companies play a vital role in the management of distressed financial assets of bank and financial institutions to jitne bhi distressed financial assets hote hain for example the npas those loans which the borrowers are not repaying all of these assets are handled and settled by these asset reconstruction companies or the bad banks theek hai and while we also know that the role of arcs are very critical and therefore in order to review the work and the functioning of these arcs rbi in the year 2021 had set up a committee in order to comprehensively undertake the review of these asset reconstruction companies and thereby had asked the committee to recommend and submit suitable measures for enabling them to function in a more transparent and efficient manner to inke transparency ko increase karne ke liye and so that these companies work in a more efficient manner rbi ne is committee ko banayi thi and recently this committee has recommended certain things certain measures for this asset reconstruction company and based on these recommendations and the feedback that rbi has received from several stakeholders rbi has finally come up with the directions or with the issue of this extant regulatory framework for asset reconstruction company तो एसिड रिकंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी के लिए रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क लाई है अब आरबीआई ने दो चीजें लाई है इस एसिड रिकंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी के रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क में द फर्स्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस पार्ट जिसमें आरबीआई हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट द ऑडिट कमेटी द नंबर ऑफ कमेटीज दैट दिस एआरसी शुड हैव द नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स द कोरम एंड ऑल ऑफ दीस रिलेटेड टू कॉर्पोरेट कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस पार्ट ऑफ एआरसीज now these are very factual it is easy for you to read and understand and again this corporate governance part is important from your exam perspective because this has been mentioned in your syllabus to so corporate governance ke jo bhi features aate hain chahe banks ke liye ho nbfcs ke liye ho ya kisi bhi financial institutions ya regulatory entities ke liye ho you need to go through it theek hai what are we going to do in today's session टूडे विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड कि ए आर सी होता क्या है जिनको नहीं पता ए आर सी का मतलब एंड सेकेंडली वी विल लुक एट द प्रैक्टिकल नुआंसेस लाइक वॉट इज द मिनिमम कैपिटल रिक्वायर्ड वॉट ऑल एक्टिविटीज कैन दिस ए आर सी अंडर टेक अंडर द एमेंडेड रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क इन सब के बारे में जानेंगे आज के वीडियो में ठीक है सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि ए आर सी या बैड बैंक होते क्या है सो दिस बैड बैंक और ए आर सी आर स्पेशलाइज फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन ये बहुत ही स्पेशलाइज फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन होते हैं दैट अंडरटेक और दैट टेक अप ऑन द एन पी एस ऑफ द बैंक तो जितने भी बैंक के या अदर फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन के एन पी ए होते हैं द नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स ऑल ऑफ दीज आर टेकन अप बाय द बैड बैंक एंड दे डू द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस एन पी एस एंड फाइनली मेक पेमेंट टू दिस bad to this financial institutions so here you can see through this diagram that suppose there is a borrower mr a mr a ne kuch loan liya for example of rupees 10 crores now he has taken a loan to bank aise hi loan provide nahi karegi uske sath you need to provide certain collateral 
सो दिस पर्सन हैज प्रोवाइडेड सपोज उसने उसके पास कोई एक हाउस प्रॉपर्टी थी वर्थ फिफ्टीन करोड़ सो ही हैज प्लेच और ही हैज गिवन दिस हाउस एज अ कोलेट्रल फॉर टेकिंग अ लोन ऑफ रुपीज टेन करोर्स नाउ सपोज दिस बोरोवर बिकम्स इनसॉल्वेंट एंड ही इज अनेबल टू मेक पेमेंट टू द बैंक और ही डिफॉल्ट ऑन मेकिंग द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट टू द बैंक इन दैट केस इफ दैट If the borrower is unable to make the interest payment or the principal amount for more than ninety days, such loans or such assets of the bank will be considered as NPA. Now banks need to go and ask them every time. So, बहुत ज़्यादा कंबसम हो जाता है प्रोसेस बैंक के लिए. So, what is the purpose of bad bank? So, there comes the picture of bad bank. These bad banks can purchase these NPAs, these bad assets. From the bank at a mutually agreed price, एक mutually agreed price पे खरीद लेगी and all the resolution process or trying to settle the transactions outside the court will be done by this bad bank. So the bad bank will make use of n number of measures in order to take out money from this borrower. So in this way, the banks is saved. From the hassle of going to the borrowers and asking and asking the borrowers again and again to make the repayment, and therefore banks are in a better position to now focus on their ordinary business activity. So, जो उनकी normal business activity है, उस पे ज़्यादा focus कर सकती हैं. So, this is the concept of asset reconstruction companies (ARCs), which are also known as bad bank. Talking more about ARCs, if we talk about the legal basis, so under which act does they have a statutory backing? Yes, they are backed by the Sarfasi Act. Now again, the full forms are important. Sarfasi stands for Securitization and Reconstruction of Financial Assets. and enforcement of security interest act of 2022 so this act provides a statutory backing or the legal basis for this arcs for this financial institutions for the specialized financial institutions to set up as an arc in india i hope this is clear to you now moving up moving on to the next point which says who governs or supervises this arc so this arc is this should be kept in mind are supervised and controlled by none other than reserve bank and bank of india so rbi is the custodian or the regulator of arcs in india ab dekho ek benefit arc ka kya hai by having arcs in india banks can so they help or they help the banks in cleaning up their balance sheets so unki jo balance sheets hai जो बैड एसेट्स हैं वो हट जाएंगी एंड दे विल बी एबल टू फोकस और कंसंट्रेट ऑन द नॉर्मल बैंकिंग एक्टिविटीज नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट अदर कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर एन एम एन फॉर एन ए आर सी सो देर मिनिमम नेट ओन फंड उनके खुद के फंड कितने होने चाहिए दैट शुड बी मिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड करोर now as per the recent amendment and the committee's recommendation this has been changed iske bare mein aage dekhte hain to you need to update yourself here pehle minimum net owned funds 100 crores tha for an arc this has now been changed theek hai talking about the capital adequacy ratio in order to provide a cushion against any external shocks so the capital adequacy ratio or the crar capital to risk weighted assets ratio for an arc is 15% which is very high so they should have at least 15% of their assets as uh, as buffers so that they can support themselves in times of need or in times of any kind of external shocks that these arc would face or can face contingency na ho isliye theek hai moving forward to the resolution strategies to so, kya kya strategies arc use karti hai in order to take out payment from the borrowers borrowers bank ko payment nahi kar rahe banks ko bar bar borrowers ko puchna pad raha hai fir bhi wo payment nahi kar rahe to arc ne wo ab npa khareed liya now arc will make use of n number of measures in order to take out that money from these borrowers the so, resolution strategies kya kya hoti hai first is restructuring or rescheduling the loan restructuring or rescheduling ka kya matlab hota hai here it means that suppose that person mr a had taken the loan of rupees 10 crores for 5 years now it is very difficult for that person to make the entire payment in 5 years so what will be rescheduling rescheduling would be arc bole ki theek hai aap 5 saal mein nahi de pa rahe agar 10% interest tha 
let's make this interest rate to be 12% or 10% only you need to make the payment within 8 years so aapne usko uski jo loan ka profile tha you have rescheduled it uh, you have given more time to that borrower in order to make the payment theek hai second could be restructuring restructuring would be suppose 10 crores ki loan li thi 10% is very difficult for the borrower to make the repayment so what arc could do is after all the assessments or and evaluation arc can ask these borrowers ki theek hai agar if you are not able to make the repayment at the rate of 10% let's reduce the rate for you let's make uh, let's let's let give you let let us give you a teaser rate so that you are able to make the payment ab 10% ki jagah suppose ARC ने बोला आपको 7.5 परसेंट ही इंटरेस्ट देना है सो दिस इज नोन एज रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग एंड रीस्केड्यूलिंग द लोन सेकेंड इज एंटरिंग इन टू एनी काइंड ऑफ सेटलमेंट उनकी जो भी कोलेटरल थी उसके बेसिस पे आपने सेटलमेंट कर दिया third is selling or leasing the borrower's business up suppose the borrower is having certain kind of businesses and he is not making the repayment of the loan so what you can do is you can either sell the business of that borrower or you can either lease out and the money that you get that you can use it because arc ne already payment kar chuka hai banks ko theek hai ya fir jo bhi lease amount out aayega usse wo payment kar sakta hai un banks ko and again one thing arc जो भी एनपीए खरीदती है बैंक्स पे दैट इज टेकन एट अ डिस्काउंटेड रेट ठीक है म्यूचुअली अग्रीड वैल्यू होती है एंड दैट इज अ लोअर रेट नॉट द एक्चुअल रेट बिकॉज फिर एआरसी का कोई पॉइंट नहीं है दे आल्सो नीड टू अर्न समथिंग राइट एंड मोर देन अर्निंग दे शुड दे नीड टू क्लीन अप द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ दिस बैंक उसके बाद है सपोज द बोरोवर इज नॉट मेकिंग पेमेंट एंड द बिजनेस ऑफ द बोरोवर इज ऑल्सो नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेल एंड दैट्स द रीजन वाई द बोरोवर इज नॉट एबल टू मेक द पेमेंट in that case what arc could do is arc can take over or change the management so arc could take over the business of the borrower or it can change the management so it can bring in other or their own appointed independent directors and other uh, managerial key personals onto the board of this borrower company theek hai uske alawa what more step can uh, can arc take can i arc take in resolution process it can also engage in security interest enforcement security interest enforcement ka ye matlab hota hai suppose at the time of taking loan the borrower had pledged a certain security aur is security pe the borrower earns certain interest so what the borrower has asked the bank is or collateral ke form mein usne kya kiya apni ye security de di and whatever interest now comes will now go to the bank agar borrower fails to repay the payment all the interest that comes from the security will now go back to the banks or the arc in case the banks have sold the npa to the arc theek hai so this can involve either selling the security jo bhi entire security hai usko bech sakte ho or arc can take the possession of the security or can either lease the owned asset but there is a criteria for that in case of enforcement of security there should be a mutual agreement between the secured creditors to so, jitne bhi secured creditors hain jinse ye security li ja rahi hai and the arc the secured creditors should be at least 75% when the 75% of the secured creditors agree to come up into certain agreement agar wo agree karte hain at least 75 percent then only you can go on enforcing the security interest i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and talk about the sources of funds for arc arc npa kis paise se khareed rahi hai so arc can raise funds either by issuing bonds debentures or security receipts in order to meet their funding requirements now a question for you are arcs eligible to issue equity shares as well like other companies jaise dusri ki jo dusri companies hai ya banks and they are able to issue equity shares can arc also can arc also issue equity shares this is a question for you apart from that they can issue bonds debentures security receipts now what are the security receipts now the security receipts are basically those receipts which an arc issues to only qualified institutional buyers to so, ye ek tarike ka loan ya ek tarike ka debt hai that the arc is taking from the qualified institutional buyers so who are these qibs now these qibs are very sophisticated investors and these investors have 
all knowledge of the financial conditions and all the regulatory laws and policies that are there for the rest of the people are not applicable to this QIBs. So, very sophisticated investors hote hain and they deal in very huge amount. For example, ye 100 million se shuru karte hain ki jo dealing hoti hain that is around 100 million. So, kafi bade large investors hote hain and they are known as qualified institutional buyers. These are not individuals but these are certain companies and through that, through that ARC can raise certain funds known as security receipts. Okay? Now, QIB. Now, what is the feature of this security receipts? So, you have issued QIB ko and you get the payment. Now, this QIBs will receive the title, the right or the interest in the financial asset that ARC buys. So, whatever asset ARC buys, suppose NPAs buys worth 300 crores. Now, this QIB will be getting the right or the title or the interest or the ownership of this asset. Now, NP hai, this becomes the asset of the ARC. Now, is asset ka title or hak kisko milega? This QIBs would be getting that. Iska ye bhi matlab hua, jo ye security receipts hain, these are backed by discounted bad debts that an ARC owns. Ya discounted NPAs that an ARC owns. Thik hai? Very simple security receipts, please yaad rakhu, it is an important term, right? These are, these are those uh, receipts which are issued just to QIBs and in return the QIBs have a title or the right to the interest in this uh, bad assets that the ARC owns. So, kuch feature equity ka hai isme, thik hai? Uske baad baat kare. So, ARC uses this fund to make an upfront payment to buy the discounted bad debt. Simple. This paise ko use karke, ARC can make payment for purchasing the bad debts or the bad assets, the NPAs of the banks and other financial institutions. And therefore, while making payment, this ARC can only raise such investment from this QIB only. Simple. Let's move forward and talk about how ARCs are different from insolvency and bankruptcy code. Okay. So, if you talk about IBC, so the main aim of IBC is the resolution to provide an economic viable solution to the individuals, to the corporates, okay, or to the insolvent companies. So, they mainly focus on resolution and reorganization of the insolvent companies. If the Diwali is out, then liquidate kar dete hai under the resolution process. And suppose if the IBC finds that scope hai, there are certain scope for this company to take them out of the insolvent uh, position, then they reorganize this insolvent company. So this is the work of IBC. However, we talk about ARCs, the main or the primary objective of ARC is to clear the NPA. So, jitne bhi bad assets hai, banks ke balance sheet pe and financial institutions ke balance sheet pe, all of those are cleared by this ARC. Simple. Second, ARC primarily deal with recovery. Recovery from the borrowers so that borrowers repay the payment. However, we talk about IBC, their focus is resolution of the insolvency, providing certain viable solution, economically viable process and solution to the uh, to the insolvent companies. This uh, this process could be either declaring the company entirely insolvent or bankrupt or either liquidating the company. Okay? Now, this is the committee that had made the recommendation and RBI had set up in 2021. So, if the exam came to Sudarshan Sen committee is related to which of the following then you should be very clear that it is related to the working of ARCs. So, asset reconstruction company ke saath related his Sudarshan Sen committee and this committee was set up by RBI in the year 2021 in order to comprehensively review the working and the functioning of the asset reconstruction company. Now, asset reconstruction company ko humne detail mein samaj liya. Now, let us understand ki what all recommendations has RBI taken from this committee. Theek hai? To ek to mene aapko bata diya, corporate governance wala part tha that you need to cover and this will be provided in the finance current affairs document. Theek hai? Weekly document mein provide kar dungi mein. 
बट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सर्टन इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर्स जिसको आपको पता ही होना चाहिए दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो द फर्स्ट इज मिनिमम नेट ओन फंड तो वॉट शुड बी द मिनिमम नेट ओन फंड फॉर और इन ऑर्डर फॉर अर फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन टू बी सेट अप एज एन ए आर सी तो हमने पहले देखा था कि एज ऑफ नाउ करेंटली इट इज हंड्रेड करोर बट नाउ वेट अन इट दिस हैज बिन रिवाइज एंड इट हैज बिन इंक्रीज टू रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड करोर so the minimum net own fund as under the sarfasi act has been increased from 100 to 300 crores theek hai and this the company needs to achieve these through a gliding path and by 2026 arcs all the arcs functioning in india should have a minimum net own fund of rupees 300 crores theek hai to 2024 tak unko pehle 200 karna padega aur 2026 tak 300 हंड्रेड करोर उनको अचीव करने पड़ेंगे इफ दे आर अनेबल टू कंप्लाई देन इन सच अ केस ए आर सी वुड बी सब्जेक्ट टू सर्टन सुपरवाइजरी एंड पीनल एक्शन एंड बाई आर बी आई इंक्लूडिंग द प्रोहिबिशन ऑन अंडरटेकिंग इंक्रीमेंटल बिजनेस तो अगर वो सपोज थ्री हंड्रेड करोर तक अपनी नेट ऑन फंड नहीं करता देन दे कैनॉट गो ऑन टेकिंग अप मोर बैड एसेट्स और एन पी एस एंड दे कैनॉट undertake any kind of increased business or incremental businesses i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and talk about other features the other is deployment of surplus funds ab humne dekh liya tha ki what are the sources of funds for arcs which included bonds debentures security receipts suppose unke paas kuch 300 crores aaye total funds that they have raised theek hai now out of this they have purchased 290 crores worth ki npas theek hai npas they have purchased worth 290 crores now the remaining 10 crores what can what where can they use this surplus funds so according to the revised or the amended framework for asset reconstru- reconstruction company arcs are now permitted to deploy the available surplus in short term instruments so jitne bhi short term instruments hain that usually last for a year for example in money market mutual funds or certificates of deposits corporate bonds commercial papers in sab ne arc can submit theek hai to arc can deploy their funds or can make investments in short term instruments jitne bhi surplus funds honge that can be invested in short term instruments i hope this is clear to you however there are two special conditions the first is that the maximum investment aisa nahi ki suppose suppose aap arc aisa nahi kar sakte ki 300 crores pura bina npa khareede it is just investing in surplus funds in uh, money market instruments or short term instruments for that there is a condition maximum investment in such instrument is capped at 10% so agar the net own fund is 300 crores for an arc or kisi ki 200 crores hai as of now 200 crores hai net own fund to iska 10% that is 30 crores aur yahan pe 20 crores up to this amount only they can invest in money market mutual funds or short term instruments theek hai and for that and even for making these investments in short term instruments they should ma- they must have the board approved policy i hope this is clear to you let's move forward and talk about other things theek hai others kya hai so this talks about uh, allowing arc to act as a resolution applicant to humne ye dekha ki jo resolution part hota hai that is taken by ibc and not by arc arc kya karti hai bas recovery ka kaam karti hai but now as per the amendments arc are now permitted to act or to undertake activity as a resolution applicant what is the work of resolution applicant so these resolution applicant will provide resolution to the corporate debtors and other debtors businesses insolvent businesses bankrupt businesses in sab ko resolution provide karegi they will come up with a process the agenda ki how they can resolve and come up of that ibc ibc se kaise bahar nikal sakte hain wo cheez batayegi so this was the work of ibc but now as per um, amendments made to section 10 2 of the sarvesi act arcs are now permitted to act as a resolution applicant however all arcs are not allowed or not permitted to take up the activity of resolution applicant 
only those ARC that has a minimum net own fund of थाउजेंड करोड़ तो एक ए आर सी को सेटअप करने के लिए मिनिमम एज ऑफ नाउ इज थ्री हंड्रेड करोड़ नाउ दो बिग ए आर सी जिनका मिनिमम नेट ओन फंड वन थाउजेंड करोड़ है उनकी खुद का फंड कितना है देर ओन फंड इंक्लूडिंग देर शेयर कैपिटल द शेयर प्रीमियम एनी काइंड ऑफ रिजर्व कैपिटल रिजर्व जनरल रिजर्व माइनस एनी काइंड ऑफ रीवेल्युएशन लॉसेज या एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट उन सबको माइनस करके जो इनका खुद का नेट ओन फंड होगा दैट शुड बी मिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड करोड़ ठीक है एंड इन ऑर्डर टू टेक अप द बिजनेस ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन एप्लीकिन दिस ए आर सी इज आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू हैव अ बोर्ड अप्रूव पॉलिसी तो जो भी बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स होगी उस ए आर सी की उनसे आपको अप्रूवल लेनी पड़ेगी इन ऑर्डर टू टेक अप द रोल ऑफ आर ए ठीक है Apart from that, a committee needs to be set up. A committee आपको बनाना पड़ेगा which will take decisions on the proposals of submission of resolution plan. तो जो भी आप resolution plan बनाओगे for these uh, companies, for this bankrupted companies, उसका जो submission होगा proposal, the resolution plan that should be taken up. The decision should be taken up by a committee. So a committee needs to be formed with a majority of independent directors. अगर आप अगर आप पांच लोगों की कमेटी बना रहे हो तो मेजोरिटी दैट इज थ्री शुड बी एटलीस्ट थ्री शुड बी इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स ठीक है करेंटली दे वर नॉट परमिटेड टू कैरी आउट एनी ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटी बस सेक्यूरिटाइजेशन कर सकते थे या फिर रिकंस्ट्रक्ट कर सकते थे विदाउट द प्रायर अप्रूवल ऑफ आर ठीक है वहां मूविंग फॉरवर्ड और क्या चीजें हैं तो इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक कॉर्पोरेट इनसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस अगर सपोज आपने किसी कॉर्पोरेट uh, को रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस रेजोल्यूशन प्लान प्रोवाइड किया देन द ए आर सीज आर रिक्वायर्ड नॉट टू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट इन्फ्लुएंस और कंट्रोल ओवर द कॉर्पोरेट डेटर आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ अप्रूवल दैट मीन्स सपोज इफ यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग अ रेजोल्यूशन प्लान टू कंपनी एक्स कंपनी एक्स को आपने रेजोल्यूशन प्लान प्रोवाइड किया In 2020, so after five years, that is 2025 के बाद भी this ARC should not have any significant control over this company. नहीं तो क्या होगा Office of Profit वाली केस हो जाएगी There may be the the decision or the plan provided will not be very much correct. या justiciable नहीं होगा That's the reason why this has been introduced in the amended. Uh, amended framework for ARCs, ठीक है? And if suppose the ARC do not comply with this condition, then ARC will not be allowed to submit any fresh resolution. तो उनको आरे के business से ही बाहर निकाल देंगे, ठीक है? And they can neither act as a resolution applicant or a resolution co-applicant. मतलब किसी और के साथ भी आकर आप resolution applicant का काम नहीं कर सकते. Apart from that, what is the disclosure requirements? If we talk about the disclosure requirements, then ARCs are required to make additional disclosures. Apart from the normal disclosures that ARC make for acting as a resolution applicant, they need to make additional disclosures with respect to the assets acquired. क्या क्या assets acquired किए हैं आपने under the IBC. Now resolution plan के अंदर ये भी होता है that ARC can take over the business of such bankrupted companies. तो इसलिए यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है कि क्या क्या assets आपने acquire किया है under the bankruptcy code. So you provide with the plan and then the most economically viable plan. The person or the company with the most economically viable plan gets that company. या तो वो take over कर सकता है और it can either change or control the management of that company so that those companies come out of the insolvency process. ठीक है उसके अलावा द ए आर सी आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू डिस्कलोज द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन स्टेटस क्या कितना उन्होंने इम्प्लीमेंट किया सपोज दे प्रोवाइडेड विद अ प्लान अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्लान एंड दे गेट द एसेट्स एक्वायर द एसेट्स डाउन क्वार्टरली ऑन ए क्वार्टरली बेसिस दे नीड टू दे नीड टू प्रोवाइड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन स्टेटस कि कितना परसेंट उन्होंने इम्प्लीमेंट किया है ट्वेंटी परसेंट इम्प्लीमेंट किया या क्या उन्होंने अब तक इम्प्लीमेंट कर लिया है That should be provided into their financial statements. So additional disclosures, जब आप करोगे, you need to also disclose the implementation status of the resolution plan, ठीक है? Which has been approved by the educating, educating authority, ठीक है? तो I hope this is clear to you. थोड़ा सा technical है, but I hope मैंने इसको अच्छे से present किया for you guys to understand. In case of any doubt, even a single doubt. 
you are always free to ask me in the comment section or over the discussion forum i am ready i am ready to help you sail through the exam theek hai to apna best do make the most out of this videos theek hai and stay updated now let's look at the questions now these questions are based on whatever we have discussed so after the lecture so after the video that you have watched this will be very easy for you to answer and please try answering in the comment section students like hansa are replying daily and and consistently i am very much liking it so please write it down in the comment section not for me but for yourself because when you write it so you, you not only read and write you see but you also see at the same time to wo aapko kafi lambe time tak yaad rahega it's just a mehnat of 2 or 5 minutes 5 minutes se mushkil se lagta hoga so make use of the time and write it down the answers of all of these questions theek hai so let's move forward to the first question which says as per the recent amendment to the arc framework what should be the required minimum net net owned fund for a corporation to be an arc under the safec act to aapko minimum kitna batana hai that is मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी बता दिया है लेट मी आंसर इट 300 हंड्रेड करोस टू हंड्रेड करोस मत बताना जो लेटेस्ट होगा जो मैक्सिमम उनको अचीव करना है बाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स यू नीड टू आंसर दैट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच सीज ए आर सी इज फंक्शन अंडर द सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ तो कौन रेगुलेट करता है दैट यू शुड बी नोइंग इट Now moving on to the third question, which says RBI issued regulatory framework for ARCs. We need to identify the incorrect statements. So, इसको ध्यान रखो कि हमें correct या incorrect statements को identify करना है. The first statement says ARCs are permitted to deploy available surplus funds in short-term instruments. Second, maximum investment in short-term instrument is capped at twenty-five percent of the net owned fund. NOF stands for net owned fund of the ARC. And the third statement says ARCs are permitted to undertake the activities as a resolution applicant under IBC. ठीक है तो यहाँ पे इशू जो रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क है उसके अकॉर्डिंग पूछ रहे हैं मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन और द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच सेज सुदर्शन सेन कमिटी इज एसोसिएटेड विथ प्लीज नाम याद रखो कमिटीज के नाम फुल फॉर्म्स एंड द नेट ओन फंड दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पूछा ही जाता है द रेगुलेटर एक सिंपल क्वेश्चन आया था अगर आपने भी क्वेश्चन पेपर देखा होगा हु इज द रेगुलेटर ऑफ द कैपिटल मार्केट सिंपल एज दिस टू मार्कर क्वेश्चन था आपके फेज टू एग्जाम आरबीआई के सो ऐसे क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाते हैं सिंपल बेसिक क्वेश्चंस कुड आल्सो बी आस्ट सो नेवर निगलेक्ट देम रीड देम राइट सो आंसर्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन द स्पीड पीडीएफ इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट इट डाउन कीप लर्निंग एंड all the very best start preparing i am there and other teachers are also there for you till then bye bye